Okay, practicing with uh, some past papers uh, questions uh, for paper 2, section A, uh, would be very helpful to understand that uh, type of questions that might appear in the uh, 2020 paper uh, 20478. Uh, solving these questions not only going to uh, give you the expected questions, but even that practice will help you to understand the, the way of asking questions and how you might be able to answer the questions according to our pre-release material. Uh, so I, I brought some questions specifically for task one and I tried to modify the questions with the help of my students uh, to be suitable for our pre-release material. One type of questions that appears very much in previous years is this type of question here which is asking about uh, to mention the variable variable name and the data type and the purpose of the of that variable okay as uh, as you can see here that the total marks for this question is six marks which is easy to to get if you are confident with that question that you have solved it for the previous material so the, the variable name, the first variable name that we used in our previous material was phone or tablet. As you can see here also, the name must be meaningful. As it already said, uh, said here in the question that the names must be meaningful. Okay, and also the name uh, must be one single word without any kind of spaces. The data type that we uh, have for this variable is an integer since it's going to receive the user's input from 1 to 10 and also what's the purpose of this variable to record the user's input of the device number from 1 to 10 so the user might input 1 2 3 4 up to up to 10 variable to name here also is the total price which has the uh, real data type and the purpose of that question is to store the uh, store and accumulate the total price of users purchased items let's move to another type of questions here which also appears many times in the previous years um, this question let's take this one for example okay another question here which is saying uh, describe how arrays would be used to store the data about the types and the price of the mobile array as we know that we have to we, we have to arrays um, which is the mobile mobile device array okay this array contains like the 10 elements that uh, we stored and also the other array that we had was the price array which contains all the prices for all the uh, elements including the mobile devices the, and the accessories which has about 16 elements okay so describing here does not mean that we write the pseudocode writing pseudocode only will get you zero mark you will gain zero marks if you only wrote pseudocode but you might include some pseudocode as explanation or given an example so for your solution, it, you must describe. Describing starts with uh, giving the name of the array, which is a mobile device array here, and also the data type that you uh, used, which is a string data type, and also how many elements, the number of elements was 10, and you might describe that it contains also six phones and four tablets. Um, and also we, had, we have here another type of array, which uh, uh, which is called as a price array and has the data type of a real and also what's the purpose of this array to store the corresponding prices of each phone and tablet uh, one good thing that you might mention here is the indexes of both arrays must be matching in order to uh, properly link each item with its, uh, its price let's say for example we had phone here number one okay and this is the index one okay 
for the mobile device array the same index here must match the price of this phone okay so let's say for example the price was 49.99 so this is the price of the phone number one um, these are two types of questions uh, you might find more questions uh, and their answers as sample data in the description of the uh, this video below